Hey, it's Doc and Patty. Hey, we're at the Iowa State Fair. And we are eating everything that we can find, just like we did last year. Yep, doesn't even have to be on a stick. But it helps. We'll eat it. Hey. Hi. So you ready for this? I am ready. Bring on the calories. Well, there are rules. I know. And you don't the, have to eat everything. That wasn't the rule. <laughs> <laughs> the rule is we can't try things that we tried last year. Oh, now wait a minute. I'm having Bowder's peppermint <laughs> ice cream. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make one or two exceptions, <laughs> but otherwise we're trying all new stuff this year. Yeah, there's some strange things out there. We're going first for... Um, what is it that uh, the Iowa it? the Iowa Twinkie? Oh, that's right, the Iowa I'm Twinkie. So... Yeah. I just remembered it's like a stuffed jalapeno with something else. That's that's what we're gonna go look for. All right. Cause you're telling me something. Oh, I'm looking for what you're smoking on the app using the Iowa State Fair app. We're going to find what are we finding there? Oh, the we're looking Iowa for the, Twinkie. We're looking for the Iowa Twinkie. It's the first it stop. Is. It's a Texas the staple, bowl. it says, with an Iowa twist. All right, let's go find it. Okay. I'm walking with you. Okay. You're in charge of finding these places on the... Well, uh, on the map? On the Disney-esque Iowa, Iowa State, State Fair app. GPS. Yep. Which really just shows a line with no streets. We're here. Yes, we are. <laughs> Our We've first stop. Farthest from the entrance gate. <laughs> we earned it. I have inside intel that they have the food ready 10 minutes early. All right. Hi, I need an Iowa Twinkie, please, and an Elote Craft Linker. Perfect. You need anything to drink or was that good for you? Nope, that's it. Alrighty. Iowa Twinkie and a link is going to be 14 for you. Okay. Hey, what do you got there? So I have, we're at Whatcha Smokin' Barbecue, and this is voted the best food at the fair this year. This is the Iowa Twinkie, which is a bacon-wrapped jalapeno stuffed with pulled pork, cream cheese, corn, and ranch seasoning. Mm. And then we have a little bonus here, which is uh, a take on Mexican street corn, which is a craft sausage with street corn seasoning and corn in it. So we're going to try this one first. I'm not sure what the sauce is on it. really good. It was a very big mouthful. Okay. That's really good. There's a nice spice to it. I really can't describe it, but it's very rich, um, a teeny bit spicy, and really doesn't taste like street corn, but it's got a lot of beautiful flavor to it. I like this a lot. You'll have to try that. And then we've got the the, uh, the Iowa Twinkie. The Iowa Twinkie. I keep wanting to call it a Texas Twinkie. Well, they say they like them in Texas. But... Okay. <laughs> Is it hot? A little, a little bit. spicy? It's like an average jalapeno hot. There's a little bit of afterburn. Really, really good. Not too much cream cheese. It's not too sweet. It doesn't uh, overpower the bacon. The corn actually has a predominant flavor in it. Really, really good. So it's going to be your turn to try this stuff. All righty. Mm, finger licking good. Here we are. Here we are. I am going to try. What did you call this thing? Uh, that's a Kraft Link. Uh, it's, a, it's a take on street corn. It's funny. When I saw it, I didn't even think it was sausage. I thought it looked like tater tots. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's got a kind of a tough skin on the outside, so it's hard to take a little bite. Okay. So you just got to do yeah. a big old TV bite. But it's good. I chew for your dollar there. It's okay. Just okay? Mm-hmm. Just okay? I'm a sausage snob. It could be a little butter. I like it. Okay. I like it. Well, you know. Takes two. Well, but it's the beginning of the day, so. Okay, now this is stuffed with cream oh. cheese, corn, pulled pork. It's wrapped in bacon. Yep, and it's a jalapeno. Oh my gosh. With all the seeds in it. I don't usually do jalapenos. No. You got my water bottle ready? It's right behind you. Okay, here we go. I'm going in. Hmm. What do you think? 
I like the pulled pork in it. Yeah, it's really good. It's a little spicy, but I don't think I got very much jalapeno, so I lucked out. Well, take another bite. <laughs> take a big bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're skipping jalapeno. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I got some that time. All Woo! right, on to the next one. Uh oh, I was wrong. I said this was the best one. It's the Iowa Twinkie's not the best. The Grinder Ball is the best one. And that's at the Bacon Box. You need to buy another one? So that's where we're headed next. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks naughty. It does. <laughs> you know what? I actually like that. Oh, was that good? Yeah, that was good. Okay. We went and did the Iowa Twinkie. That was really good. Yeah, that's that was also good. good. Yep. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Here we go. So, what you got there? I have the Bacon Box. Grinder Ball. This is supposed to be the number one new food at the Iowa State Fair this year. Not the Iowa Twinkie, like I said previously. Right. Yep. Exactly. So I'm sure you'll be more than willing to taste this one first. Yes, I was thinking you could tell us what was inside of it before I eat it. Um, let's see here. It's a grinder blend bacon ball stuffed with mozzarella cheese wrapped in bacon, rotisserie smoked and dipped in a warm marinara sauce. New Good. signature, gluten-free take on the traditional state fair grinder. Actually, the marinara is fabulous. Is it really? Yeah, and it's 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 a giant meatball wrapped in bacon because you put mozzarella in your meatballs too. So, is it a big chunk of mozzarella or is it chunk? No, of it? it's like worked in there. Oh, okay, we'll do a beauty yeah. shot here of a meatball. Yeah, yeah. One more bite. That was a noisy bite. Well, there is mozzarella. Oh, it's hiding in there. There we go. Cool. Just in time for me to take a bite. You bet. So we're going to see if this is really number one quality food. It's really good. Mm. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's actually very good. I know. We might eat the whole um, thing. Th this, is, this is literally like an Italian meal on a stick. We have but, fair food rules that we don't eat the entirety of everything we taste, but <laughs> I don't know, that looks like lunch to me. Th this looks like it's going to entirely disappear. Th the nice thing is the bacon doesn't completely overwhelm it. It's not too smoky. Um, the inside's creamy and delicious. Really, really good. And messy too. Going in, going in for another yeah, bite. I think you're going to lose it after this bite. I am. I think I need to reposition my toothpick. So they were very busy making these and this was a fresh pan. So. Nice. Mm. The nice thing about it, you know, for you know, if you're kind of a fussy person who doesn't like food that uh, is overwhelming in any particular direction, I think everybody would like this. Right. There's nothing that's really unusual about this. It's just done really well. But the components all make right. something greater it's, than what... It's like a really good eat. Italian lunch. Hold the pasta. And by the way, it's gluten-free. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> so we were just at the bacon box. And I think we're going to go over here and fit, hit 4, 10, 9, and 3. What What's do you the think? next savory one? Because a lot um, of those are sweet. Well... Good. So... What is this? Highly disorganized is what that was. Okay. This is the poke bowl. Poke bowl. Yep, yeah, so there's nothing, you know, nothing sketchier it's, than getting... It's hot. It is hot. Try Can it. I have a napkin to hold on to the bowl, and sure. then you're going to have to hold my root beer. What's my root beer? Oh, <laughs> I was saving it for you, because that's just the kind of girl I am. Yep. Okay. So this is number 10. Number 10. What all's in here? Uh, shrimp and rice and What is that, stuff. pineapple? I don't know. Oh, an edamame? Yep. Okay. I'm going in. It looks a little messy. That's all right. Mmm. How is it? Is it really good? It's a giant bowl of white rice with some really good tasty toppings on it. <laughs> but it's delicious. Let me get some edamame going. I think that's the definition of a poke bowl. Is I think I'm going to have with a bunch of stuff on it. I'm going to have to drink the edamame, I believe. Mmm. Crunchy. 
Very good. Okie Bowl, and this was number 10 on the 10 best foods at the Iowa State Fair. 10 so new foods, correct? I guess, yeah, I don't know. Mm. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm. The pineapple is really good with it. The shrimp is really good. Whoops, I'm losing stuff. It's got some like crunched up onions on top of it, fried mm. onions. Now it's making me hungry. I know someone here has a lobster roll. Mm. I want to try that too. That's a big bowl of food. How much did that cost? It was $12. Okay. So it's a little, little bit on the pricey side and half it's ending up on the ground. Yes. Um, Actually, but, they should serve it with a spoon. You know, it's, it's one of those things where, like you said, it's a big bowl of rice with some food on top. It's all good. Um, $12, I don't think so, uh, but it is good. All right. That was a long hike in the sun. <laughs> it's getting pretty hot, isn't it? I have a heart stopper in my hand. This is the bacon brisket mac and cheese. Yes, get a close up on so, that, baby. Okay, let's see. There's, oh my gosh. It's deep fried, oh the entire gosh. thing, like a Monte Cristo. Okay, so there's two layers of American cheese, two oh. slices of what's your cheese, bacon cheddar bread. Okay. And then it's deep fried till golden brown and served with a raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce. Oh, was that necessary? Okay. <laughs> raspberry chipotle. It looks like a lot of bread on the corner. It's like, it's like a hillbilly Monte Cristo. <laughs> wow. Is it a lot to take in? Mm-hmm. A good way or not so good? Um, I can taste the macaroni and cheese. Really? But because the first bite I took didn't have any yeah. meat in it. Oh. It's just a cheese sandwich. Well, go for a bigger bite then. Let's get the that sauce big TV is bite. really good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. How much was it? I don't even know. $12, I think. Yep, $12. Yep. And there was a pretty long line, but they were moving fast. Well, good for them. Yep. All right, let me try it. Okay. All right. So this is the brisket mac and cheese deep fried sandwich thing. <laughs> I don't know what the official name of it. And chipotle sauce. Okay. Mm. Nice crunch. Yeah, it's tasty. Mm-hmm. You can really taste the macaroni and cheese. I think yeah. I would like the macaroni and cheese by itself. The, the raspberry sauce is really good. I don't get a lot of chipotle in it, just more sweet. Yep. But um, really good sandwich. It's not soggy or anything. Mm -hmm. They were putting them out and cutting them in half and wrapping them up and just, they were flying out the window. They're real, it's really good. Like I said, the crunch is really good. Honestly, I don't think the brisket adds much because the macaroni and cheese is so good. They could, just shove that between the bread and serve it that way. Yeah, it's good just fried between bread. Yep. This is, a, this is a good sandwich. Probably worth the money. It's funny. They had a big, long menu, and the guy standing next to me when he went up to the window, she's like, what will you have? And he said, what everybody else is having. <laughs> That's all they were putting out. And this is, what, sandwiches. number three on the list or something like that? I think so. I don't yeah. know for sure. Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> that never sounds good when Katie says we're going to take a shortcut. <laughs> Better than using the GPS, which the app would not find my location at the Iowa State Fair. So yep. it looked like a great idea. The app looked good. Okay, so we just went to What's Your Cheese, which was um, number three. Next to that is supposed to be the Greater Tater, which is a crunchy, cool ranch pickle on a stick. All right, something else fried. Yeah. Let's go. All right. The Greater Tater, crunchy, cool ranch pickle on a stick. <laughs> You got it this time. <laughs> Yay! Yay. So, you know, again, it's really hot. It's hot temperature-wise right. here, and I think this is hot as well. Yeah, and... And, uh, and I'm about up to here with fried food, so while the greater tater uh, fried pickle might have been really good around 10 o'clock this morning, <laughs> right now it's I'm kind of like, ooh. It's kind of questionable, isn't it? It is, okay. But you get to have the first bite. Thanks. So. Thanks. You got like, like cornflakes on it there? It looks like tortilla chips. Okay. <laughs> Big bite. <laughs> wow. That's one hot pickle. <laughs> 
It's even I spiralized, I think. Yeah, I didn't make it through the pickle. No? No. How is it? Fried. Right. Hot pickle. Super yeah. hot pickle. Like, think about my lips. <laughs> <laughs> We've never been huge hot pickle fans or fried pickles. But Woo! Well. Is there more? Yes. It's a very good dill pickle. But again, it's hot. It's like supernova hot. <laughs> <laughs> so not spicy, it's temperature hot. Temperature hot, yes. All right. I'll let you try it. Okie dokie. All right, you're All right. on. So we know how I feel about deep fried pickles, but. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll take one for the team. They're also oh, a little odd looking. It's a little. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's a whole pickle. I was hoping it was just a cucumber. Oh. Yep. It's hot. I know. Yep. <laughs> There's a re you know if you like deep fried hot pickles, I'm sure it's wonderful, but the, definitely not for me. No, it's, there's no. nothing redeeming about this pickle, as it's far crunchy. as I can tell. Yeah, <laughs> and it's hot. It's hot and crunchy. Yeah, but uh, no, no, no. Let's get some ice cream. That's really the first thing we've kind of gave a thumbs down to today. I, I think so, and I can't believe it's in the top ten because. Uh, I agree. This is a highly specialized taste sort of thing. You, yeah, I, I think you have to acquire this kind of taste. What you got there? I have the Iowa Sweet Corn Sundae from Over the Top. You know, when I get really hot and steamy, <laughs> nothing I think of more refreshing than sweet corn ice cream. Right, cold corn on ice cream. Mm -mm. Mm. Hold the butter. <laughs> okay, tell us before it melts, what's in the Iowa sweet corn sundae, especially the green flaky things that look like Irish spring, please. Well, that's that's supposed to be uh, a candy husk. Really? It's supposed to represent a, a sweet corn husk. Okay. So it's sweet corn, sweet corn ice cream served over a green candy husk sprinkled with fresh sweet corn kernels and coated with a drizzle of butterscotch topping. Okay, I do see a little little chunks of corn in the ice cream besides the corn oh, on yeah. top. Oh yeah, instead of a sweet corn ice cream. Okay, so let's see. It's not just vanilla. I'm so hot, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> How does it work out? It tastes like freezer corn. Oh, well, our like, freezer corn is pretty good because it's full of sugar. Yes, but it's very sweet. <laughs> it's the, I think it's the husks. Is it? They're very chewy. I, I joked when I said they look like Irish Spring. They have the same texture and they stick to your teeth, I, which I can imagine <laughs> Irish Spring would as well. <laughs> well. It'll keep the bunnies away. The corn, yeah, right? <laughs> the corn ice cream is interesting. You can feel the little grits of corn. Well, you know, I, I like sweet corn aioli, so I can't imagine that sweet corn ice cream is all that much different. It's refreshing in the heat. Right. It's melting. We better well, let, let try you it. try it. Yep. It's not Wonder. running. Okay. I said that truly does look like Irish Spring there. It does. Funny. Let me taste it. Must be white chocolate. And Could be. It tastes good. I let you know. I like butterscotch, so I'm probably going to like this a lot. Did you get some Irish Spring in your bite? I did. It sticks to and, your um, teeth. You know, the first thing that comes to mind with this is, holy cow, this is sweet. Yes. I mean, it, it goes past all levels of sweet and then to the moon. It's, well, uh, I think that it's a very high fat content ice cream. Probably to even mimic butter, I'm not sure. Actually, the ice cream alone is delicious. I right. really like the ice cream alone. Everything else on top of it just adds a lot of sweet to it. It's a clever idea. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I really like the ice cream. The rest, eh. But it's a, it's a fun thing to try and it's super hot. So it's, you know, it's super refreshing too. Thumbs up. There were two things that we really loved last year and I wanted to revisit this year. This is one of them. This is the bao buns. The bun is steamed, it's super soft. It's filled with uh, some cucumber, some cilantro, 
and a little bit of uh, pork belly. This is absolutely one. I look forward to this uh, every year from now on, I think, coming back. Like a cloud. It's delicious. Woo! I felt this warm last year at this time. I think it was hotter last year. I think you're right. Is it as good as I remember? It's the best thing here. It truly is. Savory wise, yes. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you what's next in the best thing here. I'm, I'm probably with my mouth full. <laughs> a peppermint bar cut in two, please. I need a bar in half, $8. So pro tip, have bowders cut your thing in half. Nice. Um, it's going to be difficult to eat, though. I think I would have cut it in half the other way. Well, it wasn't up to me. All right, well, take take your bite. There you go. Here, I can hold the rest. Oh. This was the other thing we voted best mm -hmm. of last year and okay. the best of every year. Very good, but... The ice cream is delicious, but last year they were frozen solid, like oh, like a block. A little bit softer this year? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sure it's still delicious. <laughs> this is the end. Yes. Say goodbye. Let's see if I can get in here. Second here. That is it for this year. Great and way to end the day. The perfect way to end the day. Yeah. My favorite, Bowder's ice cream. <laughs>